Hello, people viewers. Welcome to Let's Who Reviews. Today, I'm doing Land Tomorrow, Season 1, Episode 14, River of Time. This one began where the last one left off with Savage on the Rave Rider and some of the crew, minus uh, Heat Wave and Snark, uh, go to the in a uh, humble lecture style, and this is it talk talk about stuff, and uh, so here just try to get through to Carter. Uh, it doesn't really work. Even these rope with his legs, but oh. and Deption is sent back to 2016 because when Rip asked him to fix the time drive he was uh, infected by uh, some radi radiation that turned his inside uh, well, Asian insides and uh, Stein thinks by sending him back to 2016 it might work to cure him but oh. and also so what some of the characters minus uh Rip, Snark and Heatwave were being applied to in the first episode of this season. And then it say the talk with Savage and some of the Wave Rider crew are kinda of good. And you obviously knew that that well spoilers. That uh, Ray was the one that was gonna let him out accidentally. He just knew that's the way that Savage was going at him, saying that he and him are the same, and so here is going to do the character over him. And just, just oh, a little bit obvious, but still stupid. Just, they're just making uh, the Jackson seem stupid. In this episode, and find that they finally break up, Sawyer so and Ray, and I'm just glad because that they have to have one of the most underinteresting and um, relationships in TV history. I can't really think of anybody in mind right now, but I'm sure there are people that are worse. And which I was. Free. He also frees Carter and just causes hell on the rave wire, turn off Gideon from the ship and the and the the and Stein, Sarah, and Rip had to pilot the wave rider old fastenly while uh, the others fly off them. And for some reason, when character was the Shulton Fire, get the flashback of his first life and come back. That makes no sense. If Simon was, was the one I was killing her, it would make sense. But I don't know what he did that. Ugh. Anyway, uh, at one point it seems like Carter is dead. And that one has been stupid to just say kill him off after bring him back again. But he's alive and uh, as I said, Ray and Sayer just end things off in good terms. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. I, uh, while they are, while that all that happened, that uh, Rip was, uh, part of the ship to go to the Phantom Point to bring, uh, that, that was to the Time Masters. I mean, don't make it, made a good case on the proof that Chavez had been using time travel to manipulate the time stream. Yeah, he, he did, he had scored time. Travel about 1975, 
I just realised I'd never used them at that at that time, and it took me two hundred years to actually do it. And like you saw, the confession that I was made. But plot twist: the time masters are actually working the shavings. They could have killed him. I don't know why they just kill him. Maybe because there's about two more episodes in this goddamn season. And everybody else gets arrested. And there's a funny line by Heatwave where the, the guards and Time Master, and I don't know what that's called, say that he's under arrest. I was like, I didn't I thought I heard that. It was weird. And there's another funny line by Snark where the savage is getting out his title and Snark like, uh, another Snark, uh, theater of ATMs. <laughs> also, I thought some of the funniest lines here. And Snark was right, it would have been better just to kill him right now, kill said, uh, that was right now. I think there's only a few episodes where Snark is actually right about something. This one saw that a villain or an anti hero could be right and also. Anyway, this is end with the uh, rip in a, a Time Master's uh, cell or something to scream and get out. And so I was saying I look forward to meeting his uh, son and wife. Which might, which might mean that, that uh, it was a it was, uh, rip that cemented. Or cause the the actions that led to the family's uh, downfall, and it, it was on another episode that it, it was his uh, fault that that knew of his wife and soil. So anyway, this is uh, okay. Episode. So the character. Kinda predictable from one. Oh, oh. It was, I enjoyed it a bit. Like, wouldn't that actually be awful? Wouldn't it be fantastic either? Uh, I think I give it a five. No, no, a uh, six. Oh, dang, yeah, I think six out then is a uh, Right, yeah, rain for this. And next week, we'll see what's gonna happen to the team and see if it's gonna break out or die or whatever. And till that time, I'm a two. I'll see you